Right, this is grade 2, module 4, lesson 28, and really this is a continuation of the previous lesson where students are going to be practicing subtracting, oftentimes having to unbundle twice in order to begin the subtraction process. And of course, the theme on this lesson is we're going to continue trying to use that standard algorithm. All right, so the directions here say solve vertically, draw chips on the place value chart. So this is going to be our training wheels. And so teachers, if some kids want to do this standard algorithm first and then confirm, that's fine. Or if they want to do this um, number disk, the place value chart thing first and then solve vertically, it's up to you as the teacher, you're in charge. Uh, read your classroom and do what's right. So we're going to begin by writing 105 minus 57 vertically and making sure that the ones are lined up, the tens are lined up, and the hundreds are lined up. And I think what I'll do is I will model this on our place value chart first. And so we're going to model 105. And that's this number. Now we're supposed to take away 57. So let's take away seven ones. Well, we don't have enough ones to take away seven, so we're going to have to do some unbundling. So we're going to unbundle from the hundred. That gives us ten tens. And now we're going to unbundle from a ten. We're going to unbundle a ten and that's going to give us ten ones. So now we're able to subtract. It says subtract seven ones. So let's subtract seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So that leaves us with these five plus these three. So that leaves us with eight ones left over. <clears throat> and then it says take away five tens. So we're going to take away five tens. That's easy. No unbundling necessary now. One, two, three, four, five. So that leaves us with these four tens. And so, and then it says don't take away any hundreds, and that's okay because we have no hundreds anyway because we unbundled it. So the answer is 48. Now let's do that using the standard algorithm over here. So we can see we have five ones take away seven ones. Well, that's not enough. We don't have enough ones to take away seven. So we're going to have to go all the way over to the hundreds column, unbundle a hundred, and get ten tens. And now we're going to unbundle a ten, leaving us with nine tens. And that gives us 15 ones. Because when we unbundle a 10, we get 10 ones. And we already had 5 ones, so that gives us 15 ones total. And 15 minus 7 is 8. 9 tens take away 5 tens, gives us 4 tens. And then 0 hundreds take away 0 hundreds is nothing. So we get 48, and that's exactly what we knew all along. One more practice, just to make sure we're up on this. Uh, so we're going to model, we're going to start by modeling uh, in the place value chart. So, and that's an easy one to model. It's just 200. And let's get this written down vertically. So 200 take away 143. 200 minus 143. And let's do this on the place value chart first. So it says we need to take away three ones. Well, we don't have any ones over here. So we're going to have to do some unbundling. In fact, we're going to have to unbundle twice. We're going to unbundle this hundred. We get ten tens. And then we're going to unbundle this ten and get ten ones. So now we could do our subtracting. 
it says take away three ones. That's easy. One, two, three. And that leaves us with seven. And then it says take away four tens. One, two, three, four. And that leaves us with five. And then it says take away one hundred. And that leaves us with no hundreds, so we don't need that zero there. We just leave it blank, so the answer is 57. Now let's show that using the standard algorithm over here. So it says take away three ones, but we don't have any ones, and we don't have enough tens, so we're going to have to go all the way over to the hundreds column and do some unbundling. So we're going to unbundle one of the hundreds, leaving us with one, and that gives us ten tens. And then we're going to unbundle one of the tens, leaving us with nine tens, and that gives us nine ones. So now we have ten ones. I'm sorry, I said nine ones. I meant ten ones. So we have ten ones. Take away three ones gives us seven ones. And then we have nine tens. Take away four tens gives us five tens. And then we have 100, take away 100, leaves us with zero hundreds, but we don't need that zero there. So the answer is 57, and that's what we knew all along. And our last problem, uh, it says Herman collected 200 shells on the beach. Of those, he kept 136 and left the rest on the beach. How many shells did he leave on the beach? How many shells did he leave on the beach? So I'm going to draw a tape diagram on this. And I'm going to think of this tape diagram as um, he collected 200 shells on the beach, but then he kept some of them and he left the rest. So this right here is the total. That's the 200. And then some of them he kept. And some of them he left. So he kept 136. And he left, we don't know how many. And that's what we're supposed to figure out. So the question is, how many did he leave on the beach? So what are we going to do to figure out this answer? We're going to do 200 minus 136. And I'm just going to do the standard algorithm on this one. 200 subtract 136. Now, by the way, the directions did not say we had to draw a tape diagram. But I uh, would highly recommend you help students understand that this is the tape diagram. And this is what a tape diagram that looks like that often suggests we're going to have to subtract. It's like, for teachers, people in the know, this is like a part-part-whole model uh, tape diagram. And we want to use tape diagrams as often as we can because it really helps students understand why we're subtracting, uh, rather than, oh, I must be subtracting because I'm in the subtracting chapter, right? So we, we want this to be more than just a guess. We want the reason for subtraction to make sense. So let's start subtracting. We need to unbundle because we have to take away six and we have nothing. So we're going to have to unbundle and it looks like we're going to have to unbundle twice. So we unbundle a hundred, leaving one hundred, and that gives us ten tens. And now we're going to unbundle a ten, leaving us with nine tens, and that gives us ten ones. So now we're able to subtract 10 minus 6 is 4. And now we have 9 tens take away 3 tens. That gives us 6 tens. And then 100 take away 100 gives us 0, 0 hundred. So we're going to leave that blank. So the answer is 64. He left 64 at the beach. Now, how could we be sure that we're right? We could use addition. 136 plus 64 
if we add these two together, we should get 200. So this is a nice visual representation of why you can use addition to check your subtraction. And I'm not going to do the addition, but you get the idea. We could use addition, and ideally, <laughs> that answer should be 200. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 28, using that standard algorithm and a whole lot of unbundling. In the olden days, we used to call that borrowing.